Hi everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. In today's video, I'll be talking about why I choose to stay child free and why I don't want kids. Before I continue on in this video, please like and subscribe. It will help me out so much and it is free. All right, so let's get on with the video. I'm currently sitting on the floor right now in the corner of my room, I'm wearing a robe. I didn't feel like wearing pants and I just, feel like this had the best lighting, so here we are. Please bear with me. All right, so the first reason why I don't want kids is because I love my life. I love the freedom of my life. I love being able to move um, whenever I want. I love being able to just travel on a whim. Um, I love how I don't have to worry about someone else. Of course, you're able to do all that with kids, but it would just be so, so, so much harder. I'm currently editing my video right now, so hello from the editing chair. The next point I wanted to bring up was from people just saying that it is selfish to not have kids. It is selfish to worry about your own finances, worry about you know um, your own lifestyle. This is my take on that argument. I actually find that having kids is more selfish because a lot of people who have kids aren't in the right spaces to have kids they aren't financially stable they aren't you know in the right safest space like anything like that a lot of people just have kids on a whim because they have you know very crazy reasons for having kids they'll be like oh it's because i was bored with my job or um i want to continue on the bloodline or um I need a retirement plan, so I'm having a kid. Hopefully they'll become rocket scientists. It, like, it's it's crazy. <laughs> I know if I wasn't able to have that freedom to do the things that I want, like pick up and travel whenever I want or watch reality TV on a Saturday night or um, I don't know. If I just know that if I weren't able to have my freedom, and do the things that I want to do, I, I lose it um, mentally. And that goes on to a whole other subject that I'll be getting to, which is I don't think that I'm mentally okay to have kids, and I recognize that. I think I'm better than a lot of people who have kids already. I think I'll be a great mom, but I just don't even want to put myself through that hurdle. I don't even want to test my mental boundaries because I don't want to risk someone else's life, you know? My family has a long-standing history of mental health issues. My grandma actually unalived herself um, after she gave birth to my uncle because there was just a lot of underlying mental health issues that weren't diagnosed because they lived in a communist country. They lived in a very, very poor environment. Once again, I don't wanna risk my mental health issues affecting a child, my child. And yeah, that's, that's just how I see it. I also have like this whole um, body image issue that really messes with me mentally. Um, and that's like, I feel like a lot of girls go through that. So I feel like that's very self-explanatory. Um, I know that a woman's body just changes so, so, so much while they're pregnant, um, after they're pregnant. And I, like, I, I, I just, I, I don't even want to cross that line mentally with myself because I'm always fighting these internal battles with my body all the time. The third reason why I don't want kids is pretty simple. It's truly because I don't want kids. Like, it's as simple as that. Like, I've never dreamt about having kids. I've never dreamt about, you know, being a mom of three. Even just saying that grosses me out. Like, I don't even want to, like, think about myself being pregnant. I feel like a lot of people have told me, you're going to want to be a mom one day. It's in a woman's nature. It's in a woman's biological makeup to be a mom. And that actually pisses me off because I, I have other hopes and dreams. Like I, you know, dream of having a beautiful house. 
I dream of traveling to beautiful places. I dreamt about having my own company, being, you know, that girl boss. <laughs> Why are women supposed to also dream about being a mom? Another thing that people always say is that once you find the one, you're gonna want to have kids with them. Well, shout out to all those motherfuckers. I found the one and he doesn't want a kid either. God, I was so heated. I'm so, that made me so, so, so heated. My partner and I, we do not want kids. Um, maybe one day he'll, you know, explain it from a men's perspective, but um, this is just my perspective. I hope that I have not offended anyone in the process. Moms, dads have such a tough job and it is not a job that you can just quit. You can just leave. It is a 24-7, 365 day a year, forever type of job. Will I regret not having a kid in the future? The answer is probably not. I always think about this question because um, I'm like, should I just get my tubes tied? Like having a period sucks. Like I think about it monthly. I feel like I would regret having a kid versus not having a kid. That would weigh heavily on me versus not having a kid at all. I feel like I explained that so wrong, but yes, of course, I would love, love, love my kid if I ever did have one. Um, but I think the what if would linger in my head a lot longer if I did have a kid. I'd always be like, what if I didn't have a kid? I wonder what that would be like. I wonder what my life would be like. And I feel like that what if would destroy me, but I'd still love my kid. I hope that wasn't a weird answer. I do love babies and all that. They're so cute. I just think about how they will eventually be preteens, teens, adults, and it's just not something that's appealing to me and that kind of deters me away from having a kid. Okay, I'm just gonna end this video now before it gets um, too offensive, oh my God. All right, well, thank you so much for tuning in. Please comment um, whether you want a kid, whether you don't want a kid, whether you even have a kid and how you feel about it. I would love to hear it. All right, well, thank you so much and take care. Love ya. Bye.